this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're out here, it's a little bit windy, but I'm flying the uh, Spark with the 360 camera attached to it. So I think I got video recording going on the 360 camera. And so I want to just experiment with a little bit. Again, it's a little bit windy out here today, but I want to kind of take advantage of this to do some testing. So this is about 100 extra grams, and you can see it's, probably, it's buffeting the wind quite a bit. So it's probably about one-third the weight of the spark. So again, we're just going to take it out and I'm just going to fly it around a little bit and just kind of experiment. I think this is quite a bit of weight for it. I'm just going to pan this around. see what I get with it. Uh, actually I want to start the video on the copter too. So now I've got the video on the copter going. I'm kind of trying to pay a little bit of attention to this because I don't know how this is going to perform especially in this breeze out here today. It's a little bit less breeze uh, if you would but uh, I want to want to I want to test it out yet. And so uh, it's doing pretty good, actually. And we're flying it along. And I'm kind of interested to see what the load is on the battery, too. Just kind of flying along. Just testing it. So sorry if during this this one I don't talk too much because I really am trying to keep an eye on this because I don't know what this is going to do. Notice how it really jumped from the, swi the switch in weight. And let's fly it back this way. With the wind it really goes good. <laughs> I was fighting the wind before but now I'm going with the wind. You can see it's moving a lot quicker with that weight battery is dropping pretty quick. And I just want to kind of keep an eye on my battery too. Let's fly it over towards the baseball field and get a 360 degree view of the baseball field. Now, I think this could get really interesting for several applications. If you need to get a 360 camera into a tight spot, I think, I think this would be your guy. Uh, but I think you'd have to be real careful with the heavy winds. I think I'm flying it away from me need to see what my orientation is here. So right now it's at max motor speed reached. So this thing is really pushing it pretty hard. So I want to bring it back, but it's doing it. But, you know, I think, I think it wouldn't be, so I've dropped back since I've gotten a little bit out of the wind. I think, I think one of the big problems today is, is really the wind. Because, again, as I'm pushing it, it's, uh, it's saying max motor, I don't know if you can, if I can get this in here, max motor speed reached. Uh, if I'm not moving, it's uh, actually pretty good. And if I'm only going about half stick, it's actually pretty good too. Uh, but again, it's when I'm going against this wind. So I want to see, I can't bring it down out of the wind.
and bring it back towards me. It's having a hard time against that wind with that load. So, see, I'm pushing it up against the wind, and it's complaining about max, max motor reached. And so now it's complaining that it's 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 going to go to the home point. Okay, so I. Well, it decided it's just going to... It just decided it's going to land, so... Well, it's actually just kind of hovering above the ground right about there. So it's fighting this wind. It can't really make it up back against this wind. Okay, so I had to set it down over there. It was ha on low battery. It wanted to do a return home, and it was having a hard time making it back up because um, I, I'm, I'm, it had to fly into the wind, and with these probably six-mile-an-hour gusts, it was having a problem making it back. Uh, in the low wind situation, it seemed to work pretty good. Now, in full disclosure, this 100-gram camera is probably a little bit too much. It really is too much for this. It works in still air. Uh, but the problem is, is again, with this kind of breeze, it's really fighting it for this copter. And this is like one-third of the weight of the entire copter. So this is why I think it's struggling a little bit with it. So in the next video, what we're going to do is try the run cam. And so that's substantially lighter. So I'll tell you what, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch up there. Hit the subscribe button. Again, all the links for this will be down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.